How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to the Firestorm podcast. Today, we're going to be uh, ooh, talking about a topic which could get us uh, slam dunked on. I can imagine this video getting dislikes. No way. No, uh, no way. way. Maybe no people way. will dunk on us, but they might try to dunk on us. But we're, we are the ones who will come out victors in the end because yes. we will not have wasted our time. Probably, yeah. I feel like I feel like we're not. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We're gonna see how this goes. Um, today we're going to talking to be talking about VTubers, the good and the cringe, because um, they are everywhere right now. They're, I cannot fucking scour a page of YouTube or Twitch without seeing some form of VTuber pop up on it. And, um, it's quite interesting. It, it, it's, as you said in a previous Let's Play that's probably coming out after this, uh, the natural progression of, uh, internet culture. Like, it really this, the, is. It, it makes sense that this is the way things have gone. Uh, especially because yeah. I understand the appeal of VTubing. I understand the appeal of being a VTuber. Uh, especially, like, if you don't really want to express like show off who you are in an online setting because like an an anonymity is a rare thing these days so sure. i get it I, I i i honestly get it and like originally i was here to slam dunk on a few vtubers in particular but i do need that's to still express it's still gonna happen but i do need to express that i do have a complete understanding of why people do it and like it, it makes a lot of sense, and it, it, some of it is actually quite cool. Um, right. I, th I first, I, 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 I can I can go ahead and start if you want, because I, I have some things that I want to say about streaming as a whole. Um, sure. So, streaming is like it's it's become like I think I was Trent and I were talking about this um, about like twenty four hours ago almost. Um, like just texting each other on discord what i said was it's streaming has become a low risk high reward side hustle for people who already have an audience um so mm -hmm. like basically if you are you know you can look at people who've started streaming a lot recently um nate wants to battle is like streaming every day on twitch um just doing random shit jonathan young has apparently started streaming um Yep. One that stuck out to me, um, Johnny Gargano, as soon as he like got out of the clutches of WWE, he like like literally the next day he was streaming on Twitch. Um, so and because I saw some news that was like Johnny Gargano reveals scrapped plans on first Twitch stream um, because, you know, he's he's got a baby coming with Candice and that's that's wonderful. But um, Candice, the, Dick the no, OK, yeah, no, let's sorry. go. Um, <laughs> so the. Uh, so it, it everyone and their mom is streaming nowadays and because of the the sheer volume like it's next to impossible to become a streamer from scratch especially if you don't like especially if you don't already have an audience like if you the, if you're someone who's day, built their audience elsewhere then the it's pretty of, safe uh, the days of keys in our eye and like this completely brand new thing coming into the mainstream like those days are over now yeah. nowadays in order to actually get somewhere with vtubing it's really hard to start yeah. small so yeah that which yeah sucks. it's it's like, nearly it, impossible to build yeah it's nearly impossible to build yourself as a streamer like there's almost no way you can garner an audience like it's just by like even if you're entertaining there's almost no way you can actually gain a substantial audience just from streaming every day. Like, there are so many people that others, that the general Twitch audience wants to watch over just, you know, other people. Like, a lot of people, like small streamers, are going to have, like, they're doing speed runs, so there's, like, some value to their stream. That's a, that's a big one that, like, a big community of, like, small streamers, um, like, speed runs that they have something of value, like they're showing um, their skill, basically, in a game. Um, so that's why people tune into theirs. 
But like, if you already have an audience from somewhere, it's almost guaranteed that you have a set number of people who are like so dedicated to you that they will watch um, your streams, no matter like what they are, right? Um, like they would go, like some people would even go out of their way if they don't even use Twitch or whatever to watch your streams because they're like a fan of the creator. Um, mm -hmm. So it's it's really tricky. Um, it's like I said, you have to. You have to have something real special about you if you're going to be able to build a an audience from scratch just by streaming. I, I feel like it would be nearly impossible at this point. Um, unless, of course, you are a VTuber, but we'll get there. Um, like I was going to say, like the only things that can really get you an audience from scratch now is being an anime girl, being an, a girl in general, or like <laughs> just having a knack for it. Um like and and having being very creative essentially um or knowing like, people if you know yes, people or knowing and, people and if you can just connections like be connections in their work streams. as well yeah connections work as well it, it's very tricky um so it's impressive that like i mean people they're always going to be a market for women on the internet that's just a fact because the primary, like the primary amount of internet users, as have always been males, and specifically degenerate males. So, hello. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's a bit like it's it's definitely a bit tricky. Like just because so many people stream now, like I said, it's low risk. So like, because literally all it is is like it's a couple hours out of your day to do something fun that you might want to do anyways. Um, but all of a sudden you can receive donations, um, subscriber cuts from Twitch. Um, like you can make some pretty solid money. And most, a lot of people have it as their only, or like at least their primary thing that they do, um, like job wise. So it's really impressive that that is a thing that can happen. Um, like they, they have so much support that that becomes a viable option. Um, the fact that so, this is a viable job nowadays is incredible right. because, like, yeah, it, it, everyone whack. was surprised when being a YouTuber was viable as a job, and yeah. now you can just fucking <clears throat> slap on like uh, slap on an avatar, like a three D avatar, yeah. and just play games or talk to people, and literally you can get just as popular and make it a living. It's really yeah. really cool. So yeah, I was just like, you just you you got to be an anime girl basically um to, to do really well on twitch nowadays and you know it, it's it seems to be like a general consensus you know drawings as opposed to like real people are going to be more like pleasant to look at for a general audience i guess um if you that can makes make sense them as colorful as yeah you, want, you can make, you make them, them as, as attractive as and as colorful as you want um, so that, that can appeal to a lot more, um, to a lot more of an, like a widespread audience. Um, like if you're, if you're a woman and you're showing your face, like there is bound to be dudes who are like up to the point of degeneracy where they're like, Ugh, why are you streaming? Get off the internet. That kind of shit. Um, but I think it's overall safer if you're not showing your face, um, so mm -hmm. there's totally an element of like um, protection, like self protection to to VTubing as a concept. I also saw something that I thought was kind of interesting. It made, it made like, um, a lot of sense. It's like the title um, of an article. Oh, I was just saying the same thing, like how, like, especially for people who want to maintain privacy, it makes complete sense that they would want to do something like this, or those that are even uh, shy in front of a camera, or those with overlying health issues that can't require like and then stuff like that that would otherwise they, they need some other outlet to do stuff which doesn't involve them being on camera this is the next best thing yeah like, they're, and they're, along those lines um i saw an article i think it was last night um about how vtubing provides like a safer space for transgender women um to to yeah. kind of express their personality in the way that um they want to um, and that's cool, you know, um, the, the idea of like transgender, especially like, at least for me, transgender women, it's always kind of like, 
a concept you can be like, okay, well, yeah, that's cool. Um, as you know, as long as they don't try to force me to do anything like that, because you know, I might not be comfortable with that myself. As long as they do that, they can do whatever they want, and I'll support them. Um, but but actually, recently, one of my best friends who I've known for over a decade came out as a transgender woman, and it's kind of hits different when it's someone you know and it's someone you've known for a long time. Um, so, and of course I want to support her, right? Like I want to, like, I want her to be happy. Um, but it's, it's very, it becomes a very real problem when it's someone, you know, who could be getting harassed like that. Yeah. Um, so. Like, I, I, I feel the same way because I, I know people that I originally met and they introduced themselves as a she and now they want to be identified otherwise and right i I support them i am i am very uh, i have warned them all that i am very dumb and sometimes i forget things so so, sometimes i do misgender them but they understand i did not do it intentionally it's always a mistake because i am very dumb but i support them wholeheartedly because you should be able to feel comfortable however you wish and yeah. but there are people especially in an older generation that are a bit bigoted out there that don't see it that way and just think oh you should just be what you are and it's just like well yeah that's why and some people want to express why... their, themselves differently and they should <laughs> no, be allowed why... to do that exactly and that's why some people do things like vtubing because they can right. put on a personality and be different which yeah again is a thing and be the type of person who they want to be right like because sometimes they might not feel comfortable with themselves in in like the the sense of like how they're they might feel like with societal standards that kind of thing um it gives them like v2ing specifically would give them a free space to kind of like be themselves even if they didn't necessarily have an audience to good like to go with them right um it would still allow them to have a space where they can be the person and express themselves how they want to. Um, so I think yeah. that's cool. Um, so when all said and done, like VTubing is definitely like, you know, it's, it's very like, it's, it's kind of, there's, there's ups and downs, I would say. Um, and I totally understand people who like want to get into it. Right. Like, mm-hmm. because it's, it's a pretty surefire way to gain some kind of audience. Um, like people will always want to like find new VTubers and stuff like that. And to be honest, I don't really see how you can like actually pay attention to their streams. Cause like even like even Twitch streams in general, I can't bring myself to pay attention to for that long. I just get bored. Um, but yeah. some people do have a knack for it. Um, so and like especially when there's enough audience interaction to keep it going and feel and the creator can bounce off them very nicely then it's like okay i see it um and you know what i i think i said everybody in their mom is streaming has been streaming recently one of the guys who has a knack for it is a guy i've talked about before small ant uh tanner is very very good at what he does um Mm -hmm. twitch streaming um and actually his mom has started twitch streaming so you weren't so, joking when you said everybody in their mom. I, I was not joking. Wow. Um, <laughs> Holy shit. So, well, she's like a running, she's kind of like a running thing on his little Twitch channel. Um, like she, like she came up, I remember watching a stream. It was like, my mom and I play Mario Odyssey with like one, both of us have one side of the Switch controller or whatever. And then there were, it was, it was, it was kind of cute. Right. Um, right. But, uh, yeah, it's it's crazy the amount of people that are streaming recently. I don't know how anybody has audience anymore because how are there like there's got to be a finite number of people who watch Twitch, right? <laughs> how does everybody get like thousands and thousands of, of views at a time? Um, like yeah, I guess people can weird. switch back and forth but and Twitch not watch a whole just stream. Another, enig- another enigma entirely. Yeah, it's so it's so strange yeah. that so many people are streaming, and it feels like that. Like, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know how many people go on Twitch all the time, but like with how many people do well constantly, it's very, it's very incredible. Like that, that many people so consistently watch streamers. I know seeing, um, seeing streamers consistently with like 15, 20,000 active viewers 
for right. three or four hours. That's fucking incredible. Yeah, like, that's it wild. Is, it is bizarre that that is a thing. But yes. um, it's it feels like there should be a finite number of people, but it always just seems to keep getting bigger. Um, that the number of people just in general who have who want to <clears throat> watch people stream. Well, some, um, some of these, some of these, like VTubers especially, like they can have yeah. upwards of like two million followers or whatever, but they only get twenty thousand active viewers per yeah. stream. Like I guess it, it kind of balances itself out, but even then, right? Like it, it's still it's, hell of a lot. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's it's enough for them to make a living and get by on it. So yeah, that's incredible. But those um, simps donations. Who 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 are the who are the few VTubers that you would say you actually enjoy out of curiosity? I do not know if I have watched like a VTuber stream for more than a couple minutes. Well, beyond um, that, so say so because because I I am the same. Like I can't keep because the way streams usually are when there's like there's always huge pauses between talking to fans or doing something in the game or whatever they're doing. Um, yeah. if, if they're not in like an active conversation with someone else, like, I, yeah, I lose attention span as well. That's why I just watch clips or cut down videos that people right. re later re-upload. Like I've watched, uh, Iron Mouse highlight clips on her channel before just cause mm. they're, they're well edited and like it shows off the best parts of every stream. So I, I understand. I can't really keep my, t I, d I don't really watch live streams that much at all, no. but yeah, like, yeah but Beyond that, like who who are some features you are familiar with out of curiosity? Okay, so I definitely know Iron Mouse because of like her little act, her little fucking comedy act that she has, her Sundere act with Connor. Um, mm. I feel like not a lot of people who watch Trash Taste don't know about that. Um, most people I feel like probably do. Um, so and I don't watch. Trash Taste too much, but I I mean, as soon as you watch a Trash Taste video, an Iron Mouse and Connor clip is gonna get recommended in your fucking YouTube box. So, um, yeah. And she seems, um, she's the right amount of energetic, I think, for her for her little stint. Um, her I don't know how much of a voice she puts on, but her voice is ridiculous, and it kind of makes her endearing in a way. Um, but it's because she you unlike a lot of vtubers you can tell she's just having fun and being herself um that's that's that, one thing yeah. about it so she's good i i assume i haven't really watched her streams but i assume she's good um i don't even know i'm trying to i'm looking through my youtube subscriptions right now i might be subscribed to more japanese vtubers than english vtubers um yeah i've tried, I've tried getting into some japanese vtubers but like yeah because i don't understand what's going on half the time i just i, I only yeah. have a very vague idea of what's happening usually um i i think i'm subscribed to kizuna i i think oh sakura miko and um uh, akari is it mirai akari or akari mirai i don't know i i don't know what it's supposed to be but sakura miko is the um the red-haired girl um who has done like minecraft and like undertale stuff in the past she's i don't even know what is she doing right now mario kart are some of her most recent videos she's doing uh bdsp very recently um mm -hmm. she she's very very cute um so she's good um i think it's akari mirai is like the little blonde girl um with the uh like the blue eyes and the blue outfit um also right. very cute um she she actually does music i think too um so whatever project she has going on is very good for her like she's mm -hmm. fucking killing it um the uh ironically one of the few english vtubers that i'm aware of is um oh my god i'm drawing a blank but uh, uh it's Hime Hajime, Sydney's Hime Hajime, yeah. Sydney's VTuber. Um again, for for someone like Sydney, totally low risk, high reward um for, for doing VTubing. Like completely. Yeah. Even if people know that she's Sydney, like it's just like, oh, she's a demon girl with big titties. Like 
you can't lose in that see, scenario. Like, see, th- this is going to be something we touched upon in a bit. Like, with people transitioning from just being content creators into becoming VTubers later on. Like, I, I, I never really watched Sysnap's content before because I'd never really enjoyed her content before. And now she's a part of V Sho- Shoujo, like, in the debut group of V Shoujo as Hime Hajime. And it's just, I still feel like it's just her, though. Like, that's the one thing. Yeah. From what I have seen in, like, group. Uh, in group gameplay with uh I think I watched like the Mario Party or like yeah Mario Party with like Kana, Iron Mouse, Hime and uh someone else and um it just honestly it just sounded like Sid Snap with yeah. just a, a like a 3D model which I am not against I actually am yeah, um, I'm mates with a guy named Troy who I um met who I literally, like, I was just playing Tekken 7 online, and this was in, like, a weird three-day period where I was playing Tekken, and I somehow ended up joining two different VTubers streams, which is fucking hilarious. The first one was nice. Troy. He only, he's only got, like, 400-something followers. Troy plays. And, um, like, I, I noticed he was streaming. So I went on, and he was a VTuber. And I'm like, oh, what the hell? Okay, cool. And then he said, yeah, I've only been doing VTubing for like two weeks. I just thought it'd be cool to try it out. And I'm like, oh, okay, sweet. And then yeah, we've, we've been talking ever since. With, we might be doing a, a Tekken video later on. And then um, another one, I forgot her name. Some other VTuber chick. She had like 2,000 followers. I don't remember her name. I gotta find her. Um, who I literally, again, she was streaming. And then we had like five rounds of Tekken and we were talking through chat and I was like what the fuck why am I joining these VTubers streams this is so weird but um it was fun but like people transitioning into being a VTuber later it's interesting but like I feel like half half the time I feel like they're just doing it either to have fun or the other the other half is to like do a cash grab and try and present themselves as something different to try and sell like sell themselves like oh look i'm a cute anime girl look at me whereas like other people who do it because if they want to keep their anonymity like i i I get it but i also feel like half the time it's a cash grab and i don't know if that's what sydney's done here or i don't know i do believe sydney was keeping her identity secret for a long time and then she just kind of bumbled it out because she's sydney um right okay because i don't think i ever would have guessed she was sydney yeah this is i don't think i ever would have guessed like even though her voice is the same i don't think i would have guessed that she was sydney if she hadn't like let it slip if she you know she keeps accidentally letting it slip yeah fucking hell i don't think she's trying to keep it a secret anymore but um but she i don't think she ever plugs it like on her youtube or anything like that no. so I think it's just like it just is what it is. Um so yeah, yeah. and I I get the um I think there is probably I mean like I said, I mean I'm sure you don't have to guess, but we have never done anything of the sort uh, of like VTubing, but I imagine that there might be like a some kind of sense of like creative satisfaction or like maybe just like joy even that you get when you like create a character and you see it on the screen responding to your actual movements um and and accurately um or to an extent right um so i imagine that that is actually like kind of a driving force because i know people who like used to stream um just with their face like with regular face cam and then move to a vtuber model um so it's pro- it's maybe not only because of like the an- anonymity thing, whatever the fucking word that is, I can't even speak. But yeah. the uh, but also just because I think there's like seeing an avatar that you've made, like kind of move around, uh, is is probably quite cool, um, legitimately. So I. I see that as being like an element for some people, especially like people who are smaller. 
Um, yeah. But the problem is, so I'll, I'll let this be the transition for you. I remember mentioning this, um, must have been during Flora Sky or something like that. Um, I remember mentioning, we were talking about Amanda Lee becoming a VTuber. And my stance has remained firm since the, like, two or three months it's been since we recorded that. Maybe four, even. I don't remember when we recorded it, but it was a while ago. And I said, the dumb thing about it is when you have a near-decade-long identifiable brand and you ditch it for a VTuber, for a big-titty anime girl, Mm. then I think it's kind of stupid. Um... Because, like, yeah. I get it. I get the, the the gist. Like, she wants to do, like... She doesn't necessarily want to stream as her. Like, maybe she wants to, like, give herself the challenge of putting up a character for X amount of time every day. Um, But it's very... It's very stupid and long-winded. And, like, you could just as easily just stream as yourself... Um, but that said, Amanda has tried streaming as herself before, and she's put a lot of effort into this whole VTuber crap, um, and it seems like it might be paying off, because she has almost 800 viewers on the stream that she's doing right now, as we speak, and that is a substantially higher amount than I think I've ever seen her with. Um, right. So maybe it's the VTuber thing, regardless. Maybe, yeah. mm-hmm. r- regardless. Like, because I, I don't think I've ever seen her past 100. Um, right, yeah. So, yeah, I th- okay. I, 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 I see what she's doing, but Trent has feelings about the lore, and so do oh, I. Okay, and, yes, see, okay. But everything about this, uh, I've, had to, I've had to have a good thing, because... My stance on VTubers has changed massively. Uh, I first learned about VTubers, I want to say like a year ago, from my mate Nick, who is like absolutely loves Iron Mouse and like Guagura and streamers like that. And I didn't understand the appeal at the time, but then eventually I learned, oh, okay, they're like putting on characters, they're, or they're just being themselves and they have a nice model nice 3D avatar to express themselves through. It, it, in a way, like, if you're not comfortable in your own skin, showing yourself off in your ideal, like, an ideal version of you or the way you want to be in a 3D model, I understand and I get that. And I've, like, had to have a big think and reconsider what it is I truly dislike about VTubers. Because there's a lot I do like, and there's a lot of VTubers I do like as well, which I mostly just watch clips of. Um, but the thing I don't like about VTubers especially is backstory and lore, and when they try to push that into their content. And this started off mostly with a... I don't know how to really pronounce her name. Mori Kalopi? The fucking... She's part of Hololive. Um, I don't really know how to pronounce it. Ma- Maury Kalopi. She, she's the VTuber that's been on Trash Taste twice. Um, the thing... like It started off with her. I tried watching one of her streams. Oh and every... Like, in that stream... I don't know how often she does it now, but in that stream, like, every two or three minutes, she had to reference that... Oh yeah, I'm the Grim Reaper. I can take care of people. I can kill people for you. I can do this. I can do that. I'm the Grim Reaper. And it was just the cringiest fucking thing I'd ever fucking heard. She wasn't focusing on the content or like the chat. She was just talking about how she was a fucking Grim Reaper. And I don't care. Like, I... Like, backstory and lore for someone that's a live streamer... I don't think makes sense and I think is stupid because I, 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 there's a difference between like, yeah, playing a character that's different to you and then trying to build lore around a character that's just a fucking streamer. Like if you want to build lore around a character and like 
some <laughs> sort of like creation that you're making, make a story, make a game, make a book. Don't like streaming is shouldn't be reserved for that. And like even <laughs> even like Iron Mouse, I love a lot of Iron Mouse's content. But whenever she mentions she's like a demon queen from the underworld. I just go, oh, fuck off. No one cares. I'm sorry. Like, it's, like, I, I get it. Like, I, hey, she hey, even... somebody cares. <laughs> Some, somebody somewhere cares. Somebody, somebody cares. Some, somebody cares. Somebody somewhere cares. Like, somewhere cares. The, the only time she's done that recently is, like, when she did a model change or something like that. Well, I think it was for, like, her fourth anniversary live stream. And Connor <laughs> pointed out that, oh, your old model didn't have a tail. Or something like that. And she said, oh, yeah, no, I gained a bit more power and grew a tail. Like, it was brief, and she brushed past it. I don't care. So, like, she hasn't really done it a lot recently. And, um... But this brings us to why we decided to do this Try, in the first place. Can I interrupt briefly? Sure. I've tuned back into her stream. Oh, no. Um, And uh, she... One of the first things I hear her say is she wants a shiny pony to... And she goes, I'll personally be mean to you in chat if you send me a shiny pony to <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Like, wow. That's where we're at, huh? This, this, That's where we're bring, at. This brings us to the topic, um, which is why I wanted oh, to make... Oh, she, al she, she also thinks she's hilarious. She named her character Monarch, but she put, like, the weird little dots above the O... And the A, and she's pronouncing it, Bleh! and she thinks he's so <laughs> hilarious. That's it. This brings us like, to, right. yeah, Amanda Lee, Emily, thing, who has since, <laughs> yeah, Amanda Lee, Emily, who has been promoting herself as mm -hmm. Monarch, Queen of the Multiverse, since, I want to say August, she's been promoting her VTuber wow, debut. really driving it home. I think she might have had some delays or something, but she's been promoting it since August, and I fucking hate it. She's really driving it home. Her primplup is named uh, Queenie. God. She's really driving this shit home. See, if... But like with Sid Snap, the part of me gets transitioning to be a VTuber... Compared to just streaming as yourself, I I know Troy does like Troy did it, and I uh, and I understand Troy's reasoning for it, and in a way I understand Sid Snap's reasoning for it. Emily, besides the point, you're right. She had a ten year brand of Emily that she grew and cultivated, and now she wants to try something different. She wants to stream. I get it. Yep. If she just ran, if she just said. Hey, I'm going to become a VTuber. I'm going to start doing live streams. Tune in if you're interested. Check it out. I wouldn't have had an issue. But since August, she's been <laughs> tweeting, <laughs> tweeting in this dumb fucking, like, like that, 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 that font that has, like, crooked words and shit like that. She's been tweeting about this. Oh, I've, I've been everywhere. I am the queen of destruction. I will destroy everything. And then promoting herself as, like, a fucking queen bitch that she can just be mean and annoying and evil to you, and you will like, and you will like it, because a lot of people like that. <laughs> I'm a villainess. I'm going to destroy everything. And she's been doing this since August. And then she dropped a whole fucking, like, in her debut stream, there's this whole, in like, five-minute intro video about this backstory and lore of being the multiversal monarch and how, like, because she, how she's just like, yo, I've been everywhere. I've been in every single anime and I have learnt all the protagonists are actually shit and I'm going to destroy everything. Until I destroy everything, though, I go to play games on Twitch because that's there just- There is always a greater evil. So I decided to become that critter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the cringiest fucking thing I've ever heard. If she, like, and even the character she's portraying has just 
queen bitch dommy mommy will step on you and you will enjoy it who will yeah. destroy everything Milf. in the meantime like e also, even like I, I i've like, looked up all these so, sorry, I was gonna say first gripe about this is her model is holding a controller and it like kind of shows how she's moving it around, but it's right in front of her fucking bazongas. What is the point of VTubing <laughs> if you're not showing off your tits, your anime tits? I'm sorry, I don't understand. I fail to understand this concept. Uh, you've lost. Uh, me. I I've looked up a few of the VTubers on uh, virtual YouTuber dot fandom just so I could like get the bare bones information about them when I need to bring it up. And it's got one for Multiverse Monarch, and her profile like literally says, "Hello, mortals. I am Monarch, Queen of the Multiverse. As I wait for fate to play out as designed, I'll be biding my time here on Twitch. I quite like these video games Earth has to offer." Be a good distraction, and I'll momentarily spare your world. Bro. Ooh. Fucking... If, uh, it sounds like she's bringing a fan Ooh. fiction to real life. She's bringing a fan fiction about her OC to real life. Because, I yeah, I'm not the, o I'm not the only one that's... Lord. That's it. I'm not the only one that's failed to notice um, that in a lot of her Ooh. album singles... She's done art of, like, the main character of whatever show she's- uh, the song from a show she's covering. And then there's, like, a version of herself in a similar outfit. She did it for, like, Jingo Jungle. Like, I especially- I, I, that's the one that sticks to the mind. She did it for, like, Attack on Titan songs. And, like, she, she's done it quite a lot. And I get it, it's a cool design. But now she's bringing that in as lore that she's a multiversal monarch that spent time with all the main characters from all these anime- and then she's decided to be a villain. And it's like, this is, you're, you're bringing, you're literally bringing a fan fiction of yourself to life as a VTuber. And, like, all this backstory and lore is irrelevant and cringe. Dude, I, she, okay. I'm still, I'm still watching for science. Let it be known, it's for science. So I'm still watching for science. And yeah. she's just seen a fucking beautifly. She's in Eternal Forest. She's just seen a beautifly come on the screen. And she was like, oh, what is that? I want it. Like, you don't fucking, you know what a fucking beautifly is. You can't fucking fool me. <laughs> like you know what a beautifly is and then she goes she goes i know that there's a, a butterfly that uh changes colors of its wings depending on what time you catch it is that true i said yeah it's fucking vivian i, I, I it is okay don't like pretend she... like you point out the fucking gen 6 butterfly and pretend you don't know jack about pokemon like it's fucking ridiculous now she's putting on like so with her character law she doesn't know what a pokemon fucking pokemon she's doing is. like a like, little twist <sighs> like see, this twist. is the thing that gets me like you know this is an act you know this is bullshit like she's yeah you're right she's uh, if she wants to entirely switch to being a youtuber do it Go 100%. Don't give uh, me all this bullshit fucking lore and pretend you uh, don't know what's going on. Like, especially because, like, she's still promoting herself as Anna Lee on all her other platforms for music. Which, I mean, fair enough, but, like... Imagine if, if she just changed her name to Multiverse Monarch. I would shoot myself. See, and, and this is also <sighs> something that we are going to be doing. We have done album reviews of Emily before. I've done, I personally reviewed her yes. Hourglass EP on my channel, and then we both reviewed Unity on the Firestorm channel. And that was, and that was covers. Let it be known. Unity was a bunch of covers. Yes. She has, here, I'll, I'll, let me, I want to talk about this because, um, I have feelings. She has apparently, um, made an album that relates to the lore of her VTuber character. Yes. An, an album. An mind album. You. An album. We not an EP. Uh not a fucking... <laughs> a couple songs. An album. I, I just want to mention before you continue, we received a very nice comment on our last album review from someone yes, called it was a very Starry pleasant Night, comment. Asking, are thinking to buy Emily original album, Rise of the Monarch, doing a review, Butterfly, 
won't be released until January 7th. Butterfly. And we wouldn't have known about this album if it wasn't for this comment, because no. since, uh, I will admit, since Emily has started doing all this shit about the Multiverse Monarch and her Twitter has just... Yeah, and her Twitter literally just turned into nothing but tweets about this. I've unfollowed her. Like, so, and I'm just going through it now, and it's just all those, like, tsundere, like, evil villainous shot faces of anime girls, and it's just her. And I just, oh my god, it's so Agony. fucking cringe. Anyway, sorry, continue. So, so we, so, yes, we've been informed of this album. Um, Rise of the Monarch. <laughs> sorry. Three, sorry, three hours ago, 600 followers away from 40k on Twitch, give me your soul, tell a friend to give this, fuck off, wow, give me How your polite. soul, give me How your polite. soul, she's very polite, I appreciate that, I don't, but, um, listen, she, so she, apparently she's done this album, I mean, I, since January 7th is approximately two weeks away, we can assume that uh, it's already done. Um, yeah. So she's made this album, and it... I, if here's, here's the thing. Here's what I'll say. If the first song starts off with her talking in her stupid voice, I'm going to lose my mind. Um... Because I'm afraid that's what it's going to be. No, no, see, that's the thing. It, it is. No, it's it definitely going to be. The first track is literally called Rise of the Monarch intro. So you oh, know intro. that's what okay, it's well, going to that, be. That, okay, that's, that's, if it's an intro, that's one thing. If it was an actual song that started off with her fucking talking, then I would be like, okay, this sucks. Um, yeah. But, um, but man, I, 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 I have... So I, I heard Hourglass around when it came out, um, and I, I was telling Trent this: Hourglass is very baffling to me because it feels, as someone who has written original music, that'll be it. I'll be a very small amount that is actually usable. Um, the uh, it feels like there's a disconnect between her vision for the song and what actually came out, and. It seems like that's because she doesn't play any instruments herself. She outsources that um, to mm-hmm. others, which is totally viable. Like, I get it. it learning an instrument takes a long time. Um, and there's only so much you can do. Like, I do the bare minimum. I had I was like, there's no replacement for a guitar sound. Like, you have to be able to play guitar if you want a good guitar sound in your music. So I was like, all right, well, I got to pick up guitar. Um so that's what I did, but pretty much nothing else. I the, like guitar and s- vocals are like the only audio files I ever have in my uh, in in my songs. So I get it, but it what it I mean it still allows me to do the songs all according to like how I want to do them. So with I am Ali's original music, I worry especially because this is about her stupid VTuber character that this is going to completely miss. Like, just the album is just going to completely miss what she's going for. Or maybe it's going to hit what she's going for, but rather it's going to miss with her audience. Um, right. So, yes, I have I have worries about that. Then again, maybe I'm not worried, because I don't really care about her VTuber character. But still, well, if we're going to listen to the whole album, it better be good. <laughs> yeah, compared, comparing, like, well, how many subscribers does she have on fucking YouTube, just as Emily? Like, nearly two million. She's yeah. got nearly 2 million. And then you see this, like, for nearly 40,000 viewers on Twitch. I mean, really cool. That's awesome. Yeah. But, like, releasing this, like, original albums isn't a bad thing. It's, no. that's, it's cool. A ranking original music, getting big enough to the point where you can release original music and, like, have, have your audience acknowledge and love it. Wonderful. And I'm happy she's making original music, but based on this fucking character with lore that I don't, I, I can't speak for everyone, but lore that at least myself, I care not for because I don't think it's relevant for VTubers or streamers in general to have lore and backstory. I think it's, that's stupid. 
And now yeah, you're making exactly a Exactly how long is she planning on biding her time until she destroys somebody's universe? Right? Like She needs to fucking drop a nuke somewhere to actually prove a point, and then I'll start believing her. You need, <laughs> you, like, you need, to, blow, you need to blow up half a country, Amelie. If Hiroshima and then... explodes for the second time... <laughs> Then we'll then we'll talk. If you drop an album and a nuke drops on Hiroshima, then I'll believe you. Okay, I'll give you all the praise you want, and I will like. You've got I'll, my you've I'll, got I'll, my attention. I'll sub right. twelve yeah, months. You've of got Rich. my attention. You've got my attention. Yes. Shit. Because then I'll the, give that, you my fucking prime sub, Jeff Bezos. All all hail Jeff Bezos, our Lord of Twitch, with the Twitch <laughs> Prime sub. Because that that that's fucking backstory with some weight, all right. That's real life law. Bitch is gonna blow shit up, like, <laughs> like yeah. damn. But um, I want I want to see an anime be erased from existence. Like then we'll then we'll start talking, all right. Yeah, damn. Then I'll be into it. But um, yeah. <laughs> yeah so <laughs> that, that that that's just my expressed feelings of that. Can you please and, erase Arrow Manga Sensei next? <laughs> oh please, do a cover of it and then delete it. Like just delete all of it. Delete um, Arrow Manga Sensei. God bless. God thank bless. you, thank you, Universe or Multiverse Monarch. <laughs> oh no! Like if she, if you have some real life weight to all this bullshit you're talking, you can actually destroy something. Like like. Try and destroy our careers, I dare you. It won't fucking work. Bomb Hiroshima or destroy Aramaga <laughs> Sensei. That is, that is the only <laughs> way you can get our attention. <laughs> but then, then I'll put up with the content. Uh, but, um... Wow. Like, again, because this is not the only recent person I follow that has transitioned into being a VTuber. Um, like oh, one, one more? Yeah, but see, for, for example... The, the, this person, like Little Karibo, a content creator I've been watching for years, who uh, makes Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh! the Abridged series. Um, he has done streams in the past, and he has done videos in the past with his face on it. And um, he has expressed how, um, recently due to his anxiety issues and other mental health issues, being in front of a camera with bright lights on him... Um, because he, he, well, obviously lighting and all that, um, has started to, like, make him anxious and make him uncomfortable. So, he's now just transitioned into a, like, a VTuber rig, uh, of an actual little Karibo, um, which is funny. And <laughs> now he just uses that character with him talking to present videos and do streams. Perfect. That is the type of shit I understand and wholeheartedly support. Like, that's why I think of, like, Iron Mouse, who is doing VTubing purely because of her... I don't know if it's purely because of it. It's probably also because of uh, anonymity. God, that word's annoying. Mm -hmm. um, but also because of her health, underlying health issues that she can't really get up and walk around a lot. So this makes perfect sense, like, for her to be a VTuber. Like, that... All this sort of shit, and then people that just do it, like, Troy and all that who go into it because they just want to try something different. I get it, I respect it, I love it. And even if Emily, again, I'll re repeat this, if Emily was doing this without all this lore and backstory shit, I'd probably be all all about it. I'd probably be right. supporting her like crazy. Like, yeah, if this is how you want to do your streams, go for it. But just dump this fucking lore shit, bro. I don't care that you want to destroy Attack on Titan. Like... This isn't relevant to any of your content. This is just cringe. You're making a fan. You're bringing a fan fiction to life, bro. Leave it alone. Like, it, like reserve backstory and lore for a creative medium that isn't streaming. Because I don't think it has a place in streaming. Having all this fucking bullshit backstory and lore. Like that. That's what gets me. But she's just hatched her manaphy <laughs> egg. And oh wow! She took suggestions from the chat, and she named she wanted to name it Majesty. She goes, "How do you spell Majesty? <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell this? Help me! <laughs> if you don't help me, I'll blow you off." Good <laughs> Fucking... lord! God. Oh, someone just subscribed. She said it. she'd be, she said she'd be mean to them. Wow! Let's hear it. I feel like this is also just an oh, excuse for her, for her to not be nice. 
And just for her to be mean, I just feel like it's yeah. an excuse. She's taken um, out her anger. Yeah. Also, I need I need to also express um, like uh, another VTuber I actually like um, called uh, I, I don't really know how to pronounce her name. She's the one that did the f who was the feature in Safid's recent song, um, Zephyrada Zephyrada. She featured in know. Safid's song uh, Liar Liar Providence. Um, and she has done, like, streams of, like, SCP, she does a lot of covers, and a lot of them are actually nice, and, um, I have been fortunate enough to talk to her on Twitter, just, like, I just responded to one of her comments to Sophia, and then we talked for a bit on Twitter, and it was actually nice. She's very humble, like, for three and a half thousand subscribers on YouTube, mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, like, content creators like that who are, like... Like, she, she doesn't put on an act of a character, she's just herself with the VTuber model, which a part of me feels like that is what this should be, but I understand, like, you don't want to be yourself, you want to be your ideal self, so you play a character. If right. this, if this is Amelie's ideal self being a bitch on Twitch, like, Yikes. like, you, like then, then I I am not about that. But I I doubt that's it. I bet I bet she is just playing a character. But yeah, yeah, it's really hard to define the line because there are scenarios where I do feel hypocritical. Of like, okay, I understand why this person does it, but not why this person does it. Like, right. I, I don't I don't want to sound hypocritical in that sense, but I just the way Emily has gone about this has really put me off and angered me because it just, I don't, mm -hmm. like, that, that, that's the main takeaway I want people to, like, that, that's my main takeaway. I don't think streaming should involve backstory and lore. That's, <laughs> if right. you want back, if you want backstory and lore, do something like in a creative medium that you can put that in as in like game developing, writing, or like music even music put back like yeah. you know in a sense i can kind of get that like in a sense like yeah but like because there's a big difference between making lore for yourself in a song and making like basing a song off of something like like the way you did ignite the fire like basing a song off of characters from a show like there there there, there are two vast like, two very different things so yeah, it... Try yeah, it. I don't... Try it. Yeah. She's explaining where her palace is and how she has a palace. Yeah? Uh, she's explaining that her palace is in a secret realm that she she lives in by herself. I'm gonna... Sh I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah? It's over for me. It's over for me. I give What's up. That? You give up. Good job. You well, survived. You survived. I'm still. I'm gonna. I'm gonna mute it temporarily. You survived <sighs> three. I really can't. You survived three. I, I want to say fifteen minutes. I mean, that's pretty. That's, that's, that's a pretty good achievement. That. That's like fifteen more than I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my lord. I yeah. can't I can't deal with it. I can't. I refuse. So, yeah. Out of curiosity, we will be reviewing the Rise of the Monarch album uh when it comes out next year. We we've got yeah. We've got quite a lot planned for January. Um cuz we're doing it this is episode 59. We'll be doing episode 60 probably the end of the year or start of the year, uh 2022. And then there will be Rise of the Monarch by Emily, which not Monarch, it's just by Emily. Um, then Domination by Skillet, and then yep. uh, Shadow Academy, Dan Avedan's new project. Uh, they said they're going to release something in January. If it's an album, we'll yes. be reviewing that. Um, but yeah, is there anything else you wanted to bring up on VTubers it should, before we get out it of here? should be... Um... Yeah, no, Dan's album should be fun. I, I mentioned it on uh, while we were recording Security Breach earlier. Um, uh, I don't think I have too much else to add. It's just 
I, you know what? For Amanda, I wish her all nothing but the best for anyone who, for some reason, likes her content. Um. Uh, I hope you get better soon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Eat. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's you know you. you like what you like man it just doesn't make sense to us um but um i guess like vtubing is a cool idea and there's definitely a place for it um but it's it just seems like overkill and it's very like stupid to see from like an outside point of view when you like have such a successful brand going or channel and you just don't ride that wave you try mm-hmm. something totally different for the hell of it which i guess maybe i mean she's been doing this a long time um you know she, maybe she wanted to change things up a bit i get it um and i have a lot of respect for her just for the for the this the fact that she was one of the like pioneers of my job um one of the first people who made it really popular so for that i appreciate her but for this i do not Um, yeah so you know what if she's having fun then great um but she's uh, already got a bigger audience on twitch because of it from the looks of it so i mean it does it does definitely seem that way um i i (sighs) but uh yeah it's very strange it's probably because like I've I've enjoyed Emily's content for so long. Like uh, like some of her music, a lot of her music's great. A lot of it's kind of like, eh, okay, cool. Like different yeah. tastes, different people. It's probably because I've known and enjoyed her content for so long that this is just seems like a jarring turn of events. Right. Like especially because it doesn't seem like there is a good reason for it other than like legitimately uh, I don't know the story behind like every other VTuber I've mentioned and why they decided to do VTubing as a career probably had good reasons or they might have had similar reasons to this but to me who uh, I read all these tweets I I watched that fucking intro video I watched like a few minutes of her first stream and like it might be different but to me it just sounds like she's becoming a VTuber purely because of the hype around VTubers just to sell prints of like a fucking anime girl on a poster and be and have a persona of a shitty bitch queen that sometimes sings good. Like that honestly feels like that's why she's doing this instead of for herself. If she's doing it for herself because she wants to and she wants to just try out streaming in a different way compared to before fine but i as soon as you brought law into this i just i got irritated i feel like this isn't the she, right she way to very easily me. just like been a bitch without the lore behind it yeah but like because she only did music before we've never really known her as a i guess as a person but like you can't say the same for every feature but you don't know if like even though, yeah, a lot of YouTubers, it does seem like they're just being themselves with a 3D model. You don't know if that's actually what there's they're like in real life. Yeah, I, I imagine there's definitely some parts that are exaggerated. Like, some yeah. parts of their personality that they exaggerate. Like, again, which Iron Mouse, perfect example yeah, of that. Right, exactly. Um, which makes sense. So, I, you know what, if it works, then it works. Like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, so... Yeah, it's just it, it. I agree that it seems def like so jarring that um, like like I said, I I appreciate like who she is as a content creator. Like I remember, it must have been middle school, I guess, that I like happened to see her fucking maybe it was middle school, maybe it was early high school that I happened to see her English cover of like um the Attack on Titan opening. I was really fucking young. That was a long time ago. Um seven eight years ago now um so like it's 
I've known of her and like what she's done for a very long time. And uh, like it, it's it's very strange to see where she's going with this, but she's clearly put a lot of effort into it. There's been a lot of people who've like participated in making the artwork and making that fucking stupid intro video. If you know what? Uh, I think art cultivates more art. You know, someone's going to get inspired by that shit and maybe they'll make a good version of it. Um, true. true. So, you know what? If she's having fun, great. Um, actually, well, so <laughs> since we are probably about to wrap this up, I'm going to actually stall for a little bit because I've been wanting to address something. This is not necessarily, well, it's actually really not related to VTubing or streaming at all. I just wanted to bring this up because it annoys me. Um, it's only very slightly related. It is uh, the villainess thing. I just wanted to rant about this. This is a complete tangent. We haven't had a tangent the entire episode. I'm going to bring. I'm going to do a tangent because I really need. To, I really need to talk about this. So, uh, Trent, I don't know if you remember, but a few months ago, I posted something about like I had saw. I'd seen a light novel in the bookstore. It was like trapped in a dating sim. The world of uh, dating sims is hard for mobs or whatever. Um, and I was like, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> that was my caption on Twitter. I posted that on Twitter it was a few months ago. It's probably like August. Right. Um, so in the months since, and it was actually very recently, but I, I got that book. I got volume one because I was like, this is so stupid that I kind of want to read it. And it is, in fact, very stupid. Um, but it's it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's the right sense of humor for it. And it's actually the story is not that bad. So I kind of got into it. But they recently announced an anime adaptation for it. And what annoys me is the villainess of that world is um, her name's Angelica. And nobody seems to know what to do with her. Um, I'm going to actually send you these pictures that I, that I picked up. Um, sure. so it, it is, so she looks one way in the light novel. She looks a completely different way in the manga adaptation of the light novel. And she looks another entirely different way in the anime. So here, here are, um, the first one is the manga. The second one is the light novel. And the third is the anime. Wait, so, what the f huh? Nobody Wait, knows. Nobody. Oh, hold on. Manga, light novel, anime. Yes. They. I mean, are totally different. Um, uh, are they? So this is. Yes, they are. Can you can you like look at the faces of of her? Like, see in the light novel, she's kind of like this kind of like cutesy figure almost. But then in the manga, she's drawn as like this almost refined older like older type figure like yeah. you can tell by her face and then in the manga she's drawn as this like kind of rigid seeming um like she's the one on the left in the in the anime in the anime she's drawn as like this rigid like weird villainess type we actually got her casting as well um her vo she's voiced by the girl who does the uh the main uh protagonist or like the main girl in Jojo volume 6 um same girl so that means her voice is definitely going to be oh. like down here it's going to be like sound no you're not allowed to do that that kind of thing so we have three completely different visions of the exact same character nobody seems to figure out what to do with this chick um so oh. because when i was reading the light novel which again is the second one i imagined her as like this kind of hot tempered kind of like cutesy um, cute girl who is just like worried about her fiance in the book um, and that's that's what she is um, so when I was reading it I was like you know what I could see her being voiced by um, someone I think you might be familiar with her her name is Ayana Taketatsu and she does actually the voice for Sugu in Sword Art Online but more importantly she right. does the voice for Nino who is my favorite, if not, or one of my favorite, of the quintuplets. Who is like the spoiled okay. little rich girl. 
Um, she's like spoiled rich girl, tsundere type almost. Um, that's what I imagined for her based on the light, the way the light novel portrays her. Um, and then I, lo- I saw the manga in the bookstore the other day and I was like, what the fuck is this? Why have they drawn her with a completely different like face? It doesn't make any sense. And then I saw the anime and I was like, who are you? You know, like the yeah. only thing they seem to get consistent is her hair color, her eye color and her absolutely massive bazongas. That's it. The rest of it's kind of like the rest of it is hmm. yeah totally character. up in the air. Um, what nobody seems to know this? what to do with this chick, and it's so bizarre. I I genuinely am so baffled by this. Like, did they not? Did the people making the anime did they not look at this the 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 volume illustrations like the, from the light novels? I, I'm so it it makes me want to fucking claw my eyes out, like. Nobody knows what to do with this chick. And, like, it's so easy. I don't know how the, the Japanese voice casting scene works, but you could have just been like, hey, fucking uh, Ayana, get over here. We're going to make you voice this, like, spoiled rich girl. You're really good at it. And, uh, it, but instead we have this, like, weird villainess. No, you can't do, you can't do that. She's, like, the type that would be, like, like, try to be super strict. That's what she seems like in the anime yeah. in it based on the anime version of her yeah just just the way the three different characters carry themselves yeah it's like, totally different but they're yeah. all supposed to be the same character that's what throws me off she's the villainous and i get it like you, you have like maybe you want to portray her in a different light but like how different do you need to be <laughs> like this is this is very off topic <laughs> It, I told I, wow. I just needed to rant about this. It's so stupid. Yeah. It's so dumb. That's I I funny. don't know what like. Uh, it's very much like I I I've been thinking about this for like days because I'm like <laughs> I, this is so nobody knows what to do with her and I'm baffled. Like I'm not even remotely involved in anything anime creation related. But even I know I'm like I read a book. And I'm like, here's the perfect casting. Here's the... I know exactly how to portray this character. And they've just fucked it completely in the anime adaptation, it seems like. And I'm just like, what What on earth? S- some villainess. God, I, you can't have shit. You just can't <laughs> have shit in Detroit, man. It sucks. Um, Fucking hell. Yeah. And nobody knows what to do with her, and it makes me angry. Um, Because I'm like, it's really not that complicated. If you literally read it, you don't even have to read the book. You look at this fucking uh, first, like, literally the volume cover of volume two of the light novel. You'd be like, okay, I get it. (laughs) Like, apparently not for these people. It's very strange. It makes me mad, and I'm like, this sucks dick. Um, I, ironically, Olivia, who's the the little main girl on the right here of the anime, she looks pretty different too. But they do they did seem to get her voice casting right at least. Um, but like, I don't know, it's just very strange. And even in the manga, she looks pretty much the same. But it's just this Angelica girl. They don't know what to do with her. Um, she's dr- drawn three completely different ways. Um, so I am angry, basically. Um, and I'm just going, whenever the anime comes out, I'm going to watch it with a grain of salt because I'm going to be like, this, this is, is not correct. Um, so I'm going to watch it, but I'm going to watch it like, hmm, I could have done better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, since we were done talking about VTubers, I was but like, I got to fucking talk do about you, this. Do you want one more, ass. do you want one more tangent? Just go, for go it. with it. Uh, Kyle O'Reilly just debuted in ADW. Oh, good. Good for him. He's helping out Adam Cole and Bobby Fish. It's an undisputed era reunion. Let's good. go. Woo! Pog. I'm anyway. happy for. I'm happy for them. Yeah. Yeah. But yes, that that is the that is all the time we have for you. Uh, yeah. Favorite VTubers. Uh, I enjoyed Keys and I. Back in the day when she collabed with the anime man, 
I mostly just watch like Iron, Iron Mouse and Sea Dog nowadays, and other members of V Shoujo. I also watch their clips as well because they're fun, they're they're chill, they're easy. Uh, Zephiana and Troy plays the smaller ones that I enjoy and uh, talk and sometimes play games with. And uh, yeah, and that we are not a fan of Monarch. That that is all. Um, yeah. Also, and, uh, uh, I appreciate um, what other names I forgot already. Oh, uh, Sakura Miko and uh, Akari Mirai. Very good. They're very cute. Um, yeah. But they speak Japanese, so don't watch them if you don't know how to speak Japanese. Also, I don't know do- how to speak Japanese either, but I also, get a the, general idea. The dog one. The girl that's a dog. She's cute. That's it. Ooh. The one that's a dog. Who is that? Uh, I forgot her name. What is the dog VTuber? Let me I'm just Google look it. it. Up too. Corone, 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 Corone. Oh, Corone. Corone. She's a dog. Yeah. Um, so Inu- she is. Inugami Corone. Yeah, she's uh, she's cute. I've watched funny clips of her speaking English, and it's funny when people make her say shit, and it's funny. That's all. Also, if um, thank you all so much for watching. But I just need to let you know if you're one of those weirdos that pays. Like for, to to watch Project Melody uh, 3D model finger herself. Uh, go get a life. <laughs> go get a go life. Go get some bitches. Go get some bitches. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Go get go, some bitches. Go get some bitches. I think we all need to go get some bitches after this. Yeah, after this. Yeah, I'm about to go out and go get some bitches right now. See you later. <laughs> Have a wow. good new year as well. Have a good new year. Yes. Enjoy, enjoy 2021. Year. Happy New Year. Happy Christmas. Eat dick. Get bitches. About to get some Christmas bitches. Ho, 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 motherfucker. More it's, but it's like you point at three bitches like ho, ho, ho. <laughs> there it is.